not let gravity help, you know? I'm over here like... Good morning guys. Check it out. Finally, like kind of a sunny day. Woo! The first couple days were a little cloudy and rainy. I'm just trying to soak this up right now. The dogs just love the yard. So funny. Like every evening they all run around. Come here, cow. Oh, you want to be right by me. Oh, he's so cute. Okay guys, I'm gonna make a little to-do list for today. To keep me on track while I drink my coffee. I narrowed it down into four basically simple things to focus on for the day. I'll drink my coffee and then we will get to the workout portion. The dogs are gonna be obsessed with me while I eat this. Everyone wants a little bite, you guys. This is hardly any toast. I'm eating it all, okay? Mm. Feels so good to see the sun. I hadn't seen the sun in over a week. Gonna get ready because we're first going to record some shots for my video about the Airbnb bust. I wanna re record them here. Like, I have the video already done, but I came up with some shot ideas that I think will be a little bit better if I do them here at the Airbnb. And then we will get to demoing that bathtub. We have been moving a little slower on this bathroom renovation than I would like, but I am a little bit at the mercy of when my dad is down to do things. While he's here, they're also house hunting and he loves to go golfing. And then during the times that he's not doing that, I'm like, all right, let's get this renovation done. So yesterday we really only put in two hours of work, but we got a lot more done than the first day. And then he was more ready to be done. I would have been down to keep going, but I don't want to like, mess anything up. I feel better about doing it when he's there because for example, if he hadn't have been there when we were demoing the shower tile, I probably would have broken the shower niche in the other bathroom because I forgot that that was there. Yeah, a lot of the stuff he's more experienced. <laughs> I'm just very grateful that he's down to help with this at all because it's saving me so much money. And personally, I think it's really fun to learn how to do this stuff. Great info for future renovations. I mean, I'm thinking the cost to renovate this bathroom will probably be around $5,000, which is a lot of money, but for a bathroom renovation is really, really inexpensive. If we were paying for the labor of people to do this stuff, it would be at least double, maybe triple. Saving me a lot of money. And my dad has already renovated two bathrooms in the last year and he's 67. The fact that he's willing to do this is kind of incredible because it's a dirty job, but it's also really fun to see the progress. For me, it's so much fun because it's my bathroom and I just am really excited to see the new design come to life. Honestly, hard physical labor i'm sore but it's like two birds one stone i kind of get a workout in but yeah i'm just trying to keep the project moving so we'll demo the bathroom today and then i'm gonna ask my dad what stuff we need for the next day because we're gonna need concrete some quick crete to fill in the shower we need some pex plumbing because we need to move the shower head up i want to go get that stuff so that the following day we can hit the ground running i know thanks for protecting me everyone the house is quiet today because everybody went golfing. I wanted to get some work done and sleep a little more. I want to go golfing like once when I'm here, but I'm not that much of a golfer to want to go that often. I'd rather buy a lift ticket on a mountain. Like to me, it's just more fun. I'm ready to film. I'm wearing the free people top that I got. I love it. I feel like it's so fun for Palm Springs. So I'll link it and I actually will. I know the other vlog, I said I would link things and then I didn't, but here's the thing. I actually did link all the stuff and then I had to have the video re-exported to take one thing out and upload it. I guess I forgot to hit save or something like that on the description of all the stuff. I linked everything. Then I had to go run errands. I was like, oh my God, in Lowe's buying stuff. Oh, I haven't set the vlog live yet. Set the vlog live. That version of it didn't have the stuff linked. So that was just extra frustrating because I actually remembered to link the stuff. I always say where things are from just in case I forget to link it. So it's like, obviously, if I forget to link this, I already said it's from free people. So some people left some really nasty comments about that. I'm like, you guys, it's not that serious. But I am going to make an effort to actually link the stuff like I did. I don't want to take more than 30 minutes on this because I want to get started with the renovation again. But I think this will really add to the video. 
video. I love this tripod that Susie from Gemini Connect gave me. It's so good. After she did the interview, she was like, oh, I have an extra of these that I brought for you. Like, how freaking nice is that? And it's such a good tripod. I really, really love it. Don't mind the dogs, but I just put the tripod there so I can manually focus it. But I need to move this up a little. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi. When it works, it's pretty awesome. And you get all these dogs hanging out with you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Also just got the floor tiles ordered. I ordered them from Modern Home here in Palm Springs because I've been working with this guy, Brett, on the vanity, hopefully working out, but we'll see. But he's made it so easy to order it and pick it up. So I should be able to get that within three days. So I think next week we'll start on actually putting tile and stuff back in. Oh, I'm so excited. Like it's gonna feel so fresh and new with that new floor tile. No, I need to record this really quick. <laughs> okay, we'll get the next shot. I sat down on a wet cushion. It was worth it for the shot though. I'm gonna be putting on my demo outfit here in a little bit. It's been a couple hours again with you guys to see where I'm at. Maybe like one hour actually. I was able to get out this top part. This is very difficult. I kind of just let gravity help me. So what I did is I would bring the sledgehammer up and just controlled drop it rather than putting a bunch of force because after just five minutes of doing that, you are very tired. Why not let gravity help, you know? I'm taking a break from this. I'm gonna try and get the vanity out. This is a little tricky too, I'm finding. So this is my first time ever doing this and you have to shut off the water by turning these. So I turned this one though when you go like this the water doesn't go on but this one is very 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 stuck. Don't mind all the dust. So I haven't been able to get it yet. I've been trying with this wrench but it just I cannot quite do it. I don't want to like break it or something. Pretty difficult. Definitely have gotten a good workout and oh that sledgehammer you guys. It's no joke. It's crazy. This is really hard. I'm freaking out of breath. Ooh. So this is how much I've gotten out, which is a pretty good amount, but I'm taking a break. I have a pineapple spin drift. It tastes so tropical and delicious. I'm just gonna like lay for a second with the dog. The sun came out. So happy about that. Yesterday, my dad, he tested out how difficult it would be to remove the tub by taking the sledgehammer to it. And he made it look really easy. Like he made a really big hole in it pretty quick. And um, I'm finding it's a lot harder. Obviously I'm not as strong as him but I severely underestimated how difficult it would be. I was like, oh, I could probably get this whole tub out this afternoon before my dad gets back. And I'm like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, no way. It's easier for me to get the top out because I can have gravity help me. But I think the sides are harder because you really have to swing at them. My arms are very tired now. So I think, let's see if I can get some help with that. I've been sitting over here for like five minutes and I'm still breathing like so heavily. It is so much work. I'm trying to get my Apple Watch reset and updated so I can see how many calories I burned. I just think it would be kind of fascinating. I haven't been able to, it takes like 20 minutes and then I have to take a video on my phone so I haven't yet, but I think it would be so interesting. I feel like I end up working harder doing this than most of the time when I work out because it's just so much longer. It's like two or three hours. Jason has been on a pizza making spree. Hi, Biller. You don't get any. Sorry. We're gonna show Dad Church the progress. Did you get any of Jason's help? Not yet. He was just about to. Oh, good job. I thought it was gonna be a lot easier. You got some of the rounded top. It was three hours of hammering on this thing. My arms will get so tired. I would literally just bring it up and drop it, but control it, like not even <laughs> actually swing. And it actually worked pretty well and you save a good amount of energy. Yeah, as soon as we get it broken, maybe we should just like try to create a line and get two pieces out. Okay, I was looking up on YouTube because I was like, this feels so much harder than necessary. Some people do that where they cut it in half yeah. and then you're able to kind of get it out. Let's see. Um, my salty ankles. Jason is down to do a little work on it so i bet he works out a lot like he's gonna have no problem with this i bet you <laughs> I like, he's fresh i'm over here like oh i never ever really do arm workouts ever all right we're gonna see if 
dad church can get that weird little valve out. The left side is off, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but the right side so. is the one I couldn't quite get. The shower is just gonna feel so much bigger than that tub because the tub was really thick. You lost like three inches on each side. You really didn't have a lot of room in there. So I think this is gonna be a good bro. Sweet. Wow, how the heck did you do that? Oh my god. Oh, great leverage. And where did you grab it onto? That thing, the yeah. knob? Oh my god, you're so, so good at this stuff. We are ending work on the bathroom for today, end of day three. I just cleaned up the area, so here's what it's looking like. This is, oh my god, the little goggles and everything make my hair look so funny. So here is how it's looking. We got most of the tile off. We can deal with the toilet area and stuff tomorrow. But yeah, we're gonna fill this in, make it a walk-in shower. We might do a very small step down. Our neighbors did that and it's really, really cool. But this is what it's looking like for now. It actually feels cleaner in here today than it did yesterday. Good morning, let's see how my pickled onions turned out. Some toast. Okay, here's a little sample. Let me know what you think of the onions because you haven't had pickled red onions before, yeah. right? Yeah, give it a try. Probably got a bite of some onion there. Hey, cow. It's good, right? Onions are sweet. They, yeah, I didn't add any sugar, they just, they kind of do that. Are, they, like you brought out the natural. A place in LA put this on their avocado toast and I've never forgotten about it. Rocket ship coffee. Oh, this is so good. Oh, interesting because I used red wine vinegar. It tastes a little different than I expected. Okay, you guys, another day. I've got some more coffee here. I'm gonna get ready real quick. Today, we should be able to, <clears throat> I think, fully get that tub out of there. We have to deal with the drain since it was a sunken bathtub. Now the drain's gonna have to come up a little more. So I don't know exactly how to do that, but I've watched some YouTube videos and my dad knows how, so that's great. We also have bags and bags and bags of this like broken tile, so we need to take that to the dump. If you guys have never been to a dump before, it's kind of crazy. I'll get some footage of it. It is like shocking to see. I'll probably get comments about why Monica isn't really helping with the bathroom renovation. Basically the bathroom renovation is my thing. I wanted to do it and I have a brand deal for it. So I'm actually paying for it and doing all this work on it. I really don't expect Monica to do anything. She's doing some renovations on the townhouse in Seattle that we both own, and she's dealing with all of that. New flooring, new kitchen. So it feels pretty even, in my opinion. And um, obviously this renovation is a lot less expensive because we're doing so much of the work ourselves. And honestly, like, I just think it's kind of fun. I would rather just do it and be able to get all the footage myself than if Monica was helping too. I feel like it would just be like too many cooks in the kitchen. You know what I mean? It's not a very big space. Um, although if she wants to help at some point, that'd be cool, but I'm not really expecting it or honestly caring if she does at all. So I don't know, just addressing that because I feel like I'll probably get some comments about it. Um, yeah, this is like not really her project. Okay guys, let's take a look at progress so far. As you can see, we got all the rest of the tub out. So, yeah, it's out. You can see the drain there. Everything's just gone. Removing the bathtub is not one of my favorite hobbies. Oh, it's super Hold gross. Hold that up there. We're now gonna get the rest of this drywall out. <laughs> All up here. I'm sure glad it's National Pizza Week. I know. That's what we're doing tomorrow. Yeah, love Tonight that. it's Mexican food at the Low Desert. Okay, he's uh, gonna cut this. Gonna trim this. Okay. All the way down, and so when we pull the wall off, it doesn't tear into the ceiling stuff. Okay, 
I'm gonna try using the multi-tool. So I'm gonna cut all down here so that we can just take this whole piece out because I wanna hardwire some sconces. And I think we're gonna get rid of the medicine cabinet too. All right, you don't have COVID, do you? No. Okay, good. I don't either. Why? But we should keep our masks on just in case. <laughs> Nice job, way to double check that. Yeah, I it like seems that. like kind of thin up there. Yep. So we got to move some more tile off to get to the last. Oh yeah, we could just... Okay, pull that drywall. Ooh, careful of the wall. out a bunch of that drywall. I thought that we were gonna keep that, but we took it out, which I'm kind of happy, because now we should we can change the hard wiring of the sconces. What was the reasoning for taking out the drywall? Just to match it all better? It yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just as easy at that point to mm -hmm. take it all off and put full sheets across. Right, and then and we could plus, do the electrical. Plus, we had to match the deck. You know, mm -hmm. Some of that was like an old layer of concrete wall, mm -hmm. drywall over the top. So you got to get it all like half inch thick. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so I just marked this off to see how this would work. So the fiber rendering that I got, they they used an arch mirror and then these rod lights. Thought it looked really cool and I'm trying to copy the rendering. So I think it all would fit. We might just need to move this outlet down because I don't want the light rod being like literally two centimeters away from it. You know what I mean? I'm just a bit like, okay, would the light rods seem too big? It's gonna be an arched mirror. Oh my God, look at the little paw prints. Okay, now that I laid out how the mirror and the lights would look together, I feel better about it and I feel like I can actually order it. Okay, I'm changing my mind again from silver to gold. Like, I don't know, now I'm looking at bathrooms that are silver and blue and I'm like, wait, but now I, I feel like these look kind of dated. I'm having such a hard time with this. I mean, really both of them will probably look good. That silver, that looks good. This is kind of what we'd be going for. Now to convince my dad of where to put the shower valve because he thinks we should put it on the long wall and I just think we, no, no. I think that it should go on the wall that would have the ledge, but I'm also like, would it look weird if the ledge was there too? All right, over here, they have it on that wall and it doesn't actually look weird. I'll give him that. Another ledge over there. This one is in the middle. I ended up making a decision. I ordered a mirror, two sconces, and the toilet paper holder and towel bar so that they all match really well. You guys will have to wait and see if I decided though on the silver or the gold. Comment below what you think I did. Okay, I just showered off all the nasty demo -ness. Now I'm making little salad really quick. I ordered that stuff, like I said, but we need to get some things to like build the shower in there. Where to first? Should we go to Modern Home first? Drop off um, the samples, get that Probably. Away. Yeah. All right, we're just gonna return those tile samples and I will be right back. Return check. All right, good old Lowe's. Let's see if they have what we need. It's a lot closer than floor and decor. Some of what we need. Yes, we because we have a, a bit of a list. The last time we came to this Lowe's, I had to have a mask on. Those yep. are bad memories. Yep. Shower section, all right. Get one like that, look at that. Lumber prices are, are much lower now. These are 60 pound bags we're grabbing. This one is broken. It's a lot of concrete. Can you believe these are only $5 per bag? All, all this stuff is actually pretty cheap. 
I'm shocked. Okay. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, wow. Shout out to that Lowe's worker. He put all the bags in so fast. Like, I thought we were gonna do that. <laughs> he had it done so quick. That we, was a big help. I know. We tipped him because we we're like, this is yep. probably above the job description. Oh. We unloaded the stuff and we are ready to pour that concrete in there tomorrow. I decided to come in the hot tub. My body's pretty sore from all this physical labor, so it feels amazing. And we are going to get dinner with some family friends here in Palm Springs here in a little bit. Just gonna relax for a second. We've made pretty good progress. So I'm happy about that. <laughs> 